yard tail of the team. The more experienced John Howard, only a year older, but gives up five inches in height and two inches in reach. With that, we send it back inside to Andy Friedlander. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we come to three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with a perfect professional record of 10 wins and no losses. He stands six feet one inches tall and weighed in at 171 pounds. Fighting out of New York, USA, Ryan LaFleur. And introducing his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a striker with a professional record of 22 wins and eight losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall and weighed in at 171 pounds. Fighting out of Boston, USA, John Doomsday Howard. When the action begins, the referee in charge of the octagon, Leon Roberts. Okay, first round, you ready to fight? You ready to we fight? are set on, for round one of three in the welterweight division. Doomsday taking the centre of the octagon early on, looking to probably crowd his opponent who's got a slight reach advantage. Confident in his power, knows that if he lands that shot that, uh, that connects, he's going to do damage and could potentially steal the fight. Ryan Lafayette does have very good combination work and he slapped down the defences and thundered in a very nice body kick. That Did it once nice. again, but a nice counter strike as well from Howard. Nice single leg from Lafleur there. So we see quite early the intentions of Ryan Lafleur. He was a state wrestling champion in New York, from my understanding. It'd be interesting to see what he does with this with a, a, a very tough and strong John Howard. But he too, Lafleur, is, is big at the weight, very strong indeed. Very athletic physique, which we see more and more with the new breed of mixed martial artists. Definitely. You can't just be a martial artist anymore. You have to be an athlete as well. And it's worth noting that, I mean, John Howard has also, you know, ran track and played football. So he's been an athlete his whole life. So th these guys stepping in, they're bringing a lot of athleticism, a lot of talent, raw natural ability. And then they add martial arts to that. It's a very, very dangerous combination. 20 professional fights separate them, however. Nice guard pass. Beautiful guard pass there see what Doomsday can do to, to get out of this situation. Ryan Lafleur, very, very patient. Short shoulder shot there. The shoulder charge just upsetting the patterns for Howard, but nice scramble there. Howard trying to create some space. Didn't quite work this time. Good control by, by Lafleur. Looked like he tried to take mount there. John might be a bit too soon. Oh, and we got a dance choke. He snugged the right arm for that arm triangle. Could already see a mark on the side of uh, the side of Ryan Lafleur's body from a body shot there. And John Howard has not had a danger just yet, Dan. He's not, he's not. I, I think there's a little bit of space in there, just above the, uh, the, the neck of John Howard. It doesn't look like it's quite cinched up just yet. He doesn't seem to be panicking too much. And now he's, uh, now he's looking to use that underhook to stand up. He's really got to watch that neck, though. It, always with the underhook, it's, it's a danger to work. Oh, it, Looks like he's done it. No, beautiful, very nice. Still threatening with the neck. Nice knee. The Das, a very good counter to that underhook to get back to the feet. But he does indeed manage to get it back standing. And now Howard's on top. Let's see what Leflair can do with this. Back to his feet very quickly. That's that wrestling experience there paying off. Ryan Lafleur okay, stepped in on short notice case. against Court McGee, and it worked out very well for him indeed. Ooh. That was a nice elbow just there off the cage from Lafleur. Dan, you and I were speaking with matchmaker Joe Silver last night, and he was explaining to us that sometimes not all guys are quite so willing to step up and take challenges so far from home. But it seems that Ryan Lafleur is just so fearless and so eager for competition and really ascend his way through the rankings. Definitely. He's already got experience fighting internationally. He's fought in Sweden and Brazil. So he's, he's familiar with the travel and, and the effects that that has on the body when you're, uh, when you're weight cutting. Here we're seeing him use good head, head pressure. Oh, goes for a lift. Nice sacrifice headlock. throw there. And he's 
Got a chin strap at the moment over John Howard. John Howard looking very patient. Doesn't seem to feel threatened at all by that position. Yeah, almost stalled in that position, waiting to see what Lafleur was going to do. Fortunately for him, he didn't transition too quickly around the back. Now good head position by John Howard. Another short elbow inside by Lafleur, and now the break back separated. Howard's just walking forward though. He wants to, he wants to get in the pocket and start trading. Well, he performed very well indeed against Uriah Hall and CR the Great at UFC 168. CR being a fantastic kickboxer himself and, uh, and Howard really Ooh. put together some good combinations. Good level change there. Oh, that's a knee to the, the body head shot. from Leflair. Really focusing on that left, that, uh, left kick to the body there. As we can see, John Howard's, John Howard's right arm's dropped just a little bit. I wonder if he's starting to feel them on his ribs. Really enjoying the way that Ryan LaFleur is leading with the right hand and using different kicking and knee techniques on the left side. As we count down the clock to the final 10 seconds of round number one. Nice low kicks from John Howard. Starts to, oh, there's another body kick. John Howard charges forward after he caught it. Looks like he's got a body lock. Come on, gentlemen. Okay, one around, okay? Look, every time off the clinch, hands up. Move first, yeah. take your time. And don't do twice. Look, don't do twice the same thing. Okay, he's gonna catch your leg. Time is the ground, if you're not getting anything, look at me. So let's have a look at, uh, at what happened in that first round. The, these elbows off the fence were very nice. Doomsday didn't even see that one coming, caught him right at the side of the head. And then we see uh, we see it from a different angle there. Really managed to wind up and got some power into that, but Doomsday wore it well and came straight back with an overhand. So the beautiful Carly with us here tonight, joining the crew and letting us know that we are about to get involved in round number two. Don't take your eyes off of this one. These two East Coast Americans really putting on a show tonight. Oh, that was a beautiful left hook. Lafleur looks hurt. That's a fantastic striking assault there from John Howard, and it wobbled the knees of Ryan Lafleur. Only a short left hook, John. You can see the power that John Howard's got. Nice, he's out to the side. Looks like he's going to get off the fence here, circle Lafleur onto it. Lafleur's doing very well with that uh, overhook, but that's really all that's keeping him. And there we go, John Howard lifts and puts him on the floor. Very nicely done there by John Howard. Let's see what he's got from this guard position. Crisp technique to wobble and buckle the knees of Ryan Lafleur, but he looks to have recovered very nicely as he sits on the bottom. Got that overhook. He's probably going to look to us, look, look for a stand-up, I would think. But it's worth noting that, that uh, all of his submission wins are by armbar, and that is something that John Howard's got to bear in mind when he is uh, in the top position. Looks like he's working to working to pass the guard. I think I'm right in saying that John Howard has only suffered one submission defeat, and he is a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu purple belt as he perhaps sets up the head and arm triangle. Good lift from Lafleur there to create a scramble. Very explosive sweep. Yeah, very nice. Caught the leg, trying to elevate the, the, the legs off the ground to put to Howard on his back, and he has success with that. And now we're back in side control. Really, really nice. Good reversal. The crowd here very much appreciating that. And are we going to see another <laughs> reversal again? Wow. And Lafleur's back to his feet, and Howard breaks free. Wow. This is high-level technical stuff. Nice From these two welterweights. Really good. This fight really is showing that it has everything. Howard just doesn't seem too concerned with uh, with Lafleur's power. He's taken a few of those body kicks, but he's not taken a back backward step in the striking exchanges. Here's that a double underhook. See if he can circle himself off the fence here. Nice good. use of the head yeah. there from Howard to reverse the position. Sets it up nicely. Using the, using the power of the mohawk there, John. Really, really like the way that Ryan LaFleur shoveled in that underhook, and everything's exploding. That was an echo, Dan. That was a nasty one. 
shot to the crown jewels as we'd say in England and we're hearing some real real screams from uh, John Howard that looks like a yeah, like I'm going gonna, gonna to save the jokes because John Howard is, is in real bad pain. Let's take a look take at the close-up of that. Oh, yeah, that was... Oh, that was bullseye. That was right on the cup. On he is a tie boxer, so I'm hoping he's got a steel cup on. He's in real difficulty, but he does have five minutes in which to recover. Brian, stay over here for me, please. Right here for me. In this corner, neutral corner. And a permanent stay grimace is across the face of John Doomsday Howard. Don't rush yourself. Take deep breaths. We're on your time. Don't rush yourself. Go see a doctor. And, and all jokes aside, Dan, I mean, that really does, for, for a gentleman, that really does constrict the yeah, breathing patterns when you get hit like recover, that. Yeah? It does, accidental. it does. And okay. even with, you know, even with a good five minutes to recover, shots, you're still so going to see, you're still going to feel that following much. on. I believe we could be in for an, an extended wait here as John Howard yes. looks okay. to try and recover. And it's, it's that bad that we're seeing a medic come inside the so octagon. So let's have a look at the replay. There's that left hook from John Howard and a nice uppercut that I missed actually in that exchange. He did well to circle and defend that takedown and then Ryan LaFleur on top, but it didn't take long for uh, John Howard to really bully him over and use some strength. And then as we see LaFleur taking that momentum and that opportunity to stand back up, it was unfortunate about that oh, knee. I'm, I'm hoping that, uh, that John Howard's able to continue. He does get five minutes here to recover, so uh, Let's everybody be patient and, uh, and wish best for best wishes for uh, for John Howard. He looks like he's in a lot of pain, John. That was really unfortunate. Yeah, some unfortunate scenes here at the Do Arena Abu Dhabi, and what a travesty it would be if this fight doesn't see a completion. We've spent over two minutes now. Three under three minutes left, and John Howard is is indeed in real trouble. We've seen a lot of craziness here in Abu Dhabi tonight through the prelims. Two minutes, thank you. Two minutes left of the break, so uh, John Howard doesn't really look like he's recovering a great deal. He's trying to get back to his feet right now. We'll see uh, see how he feels about continuing. There's no doubt that he's a tough guy, but when you get hit in the in the right spot, it, it just takes every all the fight out of you. So John Howard is. Okay, we got about a minute and a half left. Okay, and then we need to decide. He's visibly go. affected you go, John, yeah? as a result of that groin strike. It's very rare that we see people use the full five minutes to recover. Usually, it's a. Uh, it's a, a 30 seconds and then, uh, and then we're ready to start, but this looks like a bad, a bad knee and a, and, and a potential injury to, to John Howard. As soon as the doctor really pressed hard on the abdomen of John Howard, he sat straight back down. Dave, how long? One minute. A frustrated Ryan LaFleur, obviously not the way he wants this fight to go. He, he's here to prove himself to the division and, uh, and, and this is not, uh, not what he had in mind, I'm sure. You're going, John, yeah? OK, thank you. Wow. wow. Despite the pain, this warrior, John Howard, wants to continue. Get on John Howard's Twitter, everybody, and, uh, and, and thank him for James, pulling it together and continuing. It's difficult to explain how painful that can be. Hopefully it doesn't affect him in the rest of the fight. Exactly four minutes was the delay as these guys get back into it in the second round and a lovely trip there from Ryan LaFleur takes this back down to the mat and that pressure on top of Howard could become very uncomfortable for him Dan it could it could but this you know this might be just what he needs to work uh, to recover if he cannot take any damage here and, and get some big big breaths but he's still looking to get up John he's still uh, still trying to push this fight and that's a very, very admirable thing considering the, the shot that he just took to the boys I think the world has just just, be, just giving out a lot more respect to John Doomsday Howard. A lot of guys out there with stomachache right now, feeling that, uh, feeling that pain for him. Howard pushing his, uh, his opponent back to the fence. Looks like it's taken some fight out of him, John, I'll be honest. Oh, and a knee to the belly there from Ryan LaFleur, and he's working away at that body. 
He's got a strategy he needs to employ. I doubt there's going to be much sympathy in that octagon. You can't have sympathy in the octagon. There's none. Uh, you're not going to receive any. Nice reversal from John Howard. And he circles his opponent to the fence. That's beautiful. And the crowd now getting behind John Howard. He's had a few more supporters this evening. And despite the delays, we have one minute left still of round number two, scheduled for three. Good head position from Ryan Lafleur there. He's uh, using that underhook well and, and using the head to keep his opponent pinned against the fence. Very difficult to mount any kind of offensive if you can't, uh, can't face your opponent. Double underhooks for John Howard, circles his opponent to the fence. Both these guys have got very, very good wrestling. Back and forth exchanges with the clinch. Jostling for head position. Nice uppercut, really nice. Burst of energy from John Howard there. Broken, fired a nice uppercut underneath. Oh, and another left hook. Lafleur looks hurt. Really good stuff here as we close out the second round. Howard stands back as the buzzer sounds. It's worth noting it's 85 degrees here and 55% humidity. Right, 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 right. That's, that is pretty grueling on these guys who perhaps aren't used to those kind of conditions. But it just shows the athleticisms of the athletes that we have here at the Ultimate Fighting Championship as we get into round number three. You know, my understanding of being a martial artist, even from a young age, is always about being adaptable. Oh, that was a beautiful inside low kick that put Lafleur on the floor for a second. Nice duck under there from Lafleur, using that wrestling to drag it back down to the mat. Skillfully done. Yeah, I think he's got some respect for John Howard's power now. And we heard his corner team at uh, in between rounds telling John Howard that you've got to put your fists on his chin. Every time you hit him, you hurt him. And, and John Howard, as we've seen a couple of times in this fight, he's demonstrated that he's got that power to hurt Lafleur. Lafleur is pinning the head of John Howard up against the canvas where it meets the fence. John Howard's looking got for his opportunities to strike. Yeah, he's got his butterfly hooks in now. He's probably going to try and create some space, get his back against the fence. There we go, elevating, beautiful, really nice work with the butterfly hooks. And another left hook! Brilliant oh, oh. there from John Howard. Wow. He's using that exit so effectively. The Flair's taking these punches very well. I almost want to see these guys clinch up again because they've got such good work in close quarters. They have. And either guy can end up on top, and, <laughs> and they're not probably going to stay up on, on top for very long either with the reversals. Beautiful takedown. Ran a good reversal. Wow. These scrambles are fantastic. See if uh, John Howard can elevate him with that butterfly hook again that he had success with a few minutes ago. Fight fans, you are enjoying every single facet of mixed martial arts in this welterweight contest. John Doomsday Howard must really want it, Dan, after what we saw in the previous round. He must, and, and he obviously wants it in an admirable way. He's, you know, he doesn't want that easy out with the, uh, the, the groin strike. He's, he's fighting through it, and he's adapting to the, the discomfort and the heat, looking like uh, he's getting his guard pass right now but from Lafleur, slowly creeping up. Essentially an injured fighter. Back to butterfly guard, really nice recovery by John Howard. Those, that, those hooks. And that butterfly, they're very explosive indeed. He's using those really well. 
Open guard from John Howard here. Probably not looking to threaten. Lafleur looking to pass again. Looks like he might have half guard here. Howard using that shin across to keep some uh, keep some distance from him and his opponent creeping up. Is that butterfly hook again that he's creeping inside that uh, that right leg of, of Lafleur and Lafleur uses it to pass. Really nice. He is just relentless with his movement. Again, another scramble. How's it going to end up? Lafleur using his wrestling basics now to uh, keep his opponent uh, keep his opponent on the floor and, and heavy. So John Howard, I believe, has sort of locked up. He's triangled the leg of Ryan Lafleur. Well, that was released. Like and Lafleur trying... now is looking to try get back mount. Yeah, it looks like he tried to tried to pull John Howard into uh, into double hooks there, but ha de de denied by Howard. Now he might be setting up an arm triangle. Howard's got to be careful which direction he turns here. The Doomsday Corner shouting out, "It's now or never!" As he looks for a leg attack. Wow. Wow, good attempt, good attempt. Looks like it might be a little bit too low on the leg, but this could be an opportunity for John Howard to stand up. I would scramble and take top position if I was him right now, try and do some damage in this last minute. There's not enough there to attack the ankle. It's very much got to be a straight knee bar. But look, Ryan LaFleur pushes his way out, but he's given it again. Almost putting his leg in danger once more. Last 35 seconds in this very engaging welterweight contest. Good work by Lafleur here. Really, really just uh, letting the judges know that he's been in control of this fight on the ground. Some good reversals, but it's, it's the wrestling of, uh, of Lafleur that's that's uh, kept this fight on the floor for so long. Last 10 seconds. We'll see an end to this contest. And it was a stalemate in those final exchanges. And it will be very interesting to see how the judges will score that bounce. John Howard takes his cup out and throws it. He looks like he's very, very uncomfortable still. I hope there's no, there's no long-term damage there. Let's take a look at a replay from that third round. Beautiful inside low kick there, took Lafleur's base away. And then here, there's the power of John Howard. That, that was the second left hook that he landed. But the, the timing of Lafleur's shot, I made a note of it when I, was, when I was watching his tape. His timing is fantastic. He shoots in, takes that single leg, and, and persists until he's in a position that he feels comfortable on the ground. Well, we also saw just how strong Ryan Lafleur's chin is as well. Fantastic athleticism from both of these guys. John Doomsday Howard noticeably injured from that groin strike. Very unfortunate, because I'd like to have seen what a fully fit John Howard would have done through, this, through the last remaining moments of those rounds. But that's enough from us here in commentary. It's time to send it back to the Octagon and to Ladies Andy and Freelander. gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges have scored the bout in favour of the winner. By unanimous decision, Ryan Lafleur!